Starseed Walken. The Manual, How to. The Cosma Construction Manual for Planetary Evolution. An emergency remedial Earth edition co-created by Mission Control and Zovcho Dedication. This third dimensional publication of The Cosma Construction Manual for Planetary Evolution is dedicated to all our relations. The Intergalactic Council. Introductory Information. The Mission. The Mission to Planet Earth was initiated by request of the planet herself. Earth has asked and the stellar councils have granted an evolutionary leap. Over the last millennium Earth has been preparing for our advent. It is now time to enter the Earth plane to reclaim this planet in the name of the forces of light and to open her doors to the cosmic community in which she resides. We congratulate and salute those of you throughout the universes who have volunteered for this assignment go with our blessing. And remember at the manual, before you get there. Although you are veterans of countless successful missions, to numerous dysfunctional life support systems, watch out for this one. This edition of the manual is, specifically designed for this planetary system, a system which defies all true rationality, and has raised dysfunctionality to an art form. It is also one of the few systems, where telling the truth, is covertly considered a creative act. Because of the inherent hazards of this planet, mission control will not be responsible for any members of this mission who do not thoroughly acquaint themselves with the material contained in this special edition. Mission control. Special note from the publisher. Although you were warned to acquaint yourselves with the original manual before departing, a great number of you did not. If you've seen one manual, you've seen them all has proved to be a cavalier attitude that many of you have lived to regret, even though most of you are too stunned and dazed by the process to remember just exactly what it is you are regretting. Being 400 light years from home and suddenly wondering did I forget my toothbrush is both annoying to mission control as well as useless to the mission. So for those of you who left your galaxy without it, an unprecedented reprinting of the manual has been authorized by the mission's governing councils. This is the remedial version of the original manual, because you couldn't possibly handle the unexpurgated version at this time. This edition is the official American and Canadian translation, written in the vernacular, and made current to your circumstances. It is the strong recommendation of the councils, now that you have yourselves totally disassembled, why not take a moment to read the instructions? It is, after all, at your request that we had them written. The Intergalactic Council. On behalf of the Confederated Interuniversal Councils, the United Stellar Alliances, and the Greater Interdimensional Federation of Light. A word from Mission Control. Mission Control is the tactical arm of the extraterrestrial mission to planet Earth. We implement the decisions of the Stellar Councils, and act as an intermediary between the members of the mission who have opted for infantry duty and the planet's surface, and those who are serving the mission, in any of its many off-planet divisions. It is our responsibility to maintain all communication systems, among the vast forces, that have now gathered, in this planetary arena. Our purpose is to assist the planet, and its inhabitants into a new consciousness, and reality. Our prime directive, is to coordinate the movements, that spirit orchestrates. We are here to assure, that the decree of the high spiritual court is implemented, and that the veils of the third dimension are parted so that light can enter. We have overseen the writing of this version of the Cosmic Instruction Manual, at the request of the Intergalactic Council. We have done so because it is our mandate, to assist all mission members, in the successful completion of their many, and varied assignments. Our instructions are to be a guiding force, for this mission. Our status as servant to spirit. This is mission control speaking. We now end this transmission. How to use the manual. The manual is not a rule book, nor does it tell you how many angels are on the head of a pin, and which dimension that pin is in. It also offers no street maps of the dimensions, to satisfy your linear thinking minds. This manual is a tool, to awaken you to what you already know. It is an aid in accessing the real inside information, not an outside authority, with the latest ism, in which you should believe. 
Because we do not wish this manual to be misused, we have deliberately left out some information. If you find yourself wanting more answers than this manual offers, don't just stand there like a jerk. Go inside and ask for those answers. Whatever is appropriate for you to know will be given. Mission Control would like you to be aware that we not only stand behind our product, but we also stand beside you as you read it. We would also like to make it clear that although you may consider this manual a new age publication, we do not. That is because what you are calling new age is just the final manifestation of old age. Since the new age is still about religious belief systems, as asserted by outside authorities, we find it neither new nor much better than anything else you believe in. We prefer to think of ourselves as sacred cow pokes on a sacred cow herd and our manual as a sacred cow pension device. We believe that would make this publication more post-New Age than anything. How you end up classifying this manual is less important than how you end up using it. It is our suggestion that you use it as a tool to awaken yourself, not as a new doctrine to continue to snooze by. This is Mission Control saying yee-haw. One. The Intergalactic New Collegiate Dictionary. Because human languages are not designed to grasp many concepts outside the current fixated, forbidden, and toxic consciousness, and also because we do not use spoken language, this manual presents us with some interesting problems. Dealing in the currency of your linguistic systems is deadly difficult because the inversion of your energy has twisted all logical meaning. For instance, the people of this planet stand in total arrogance, adamantly denying their omnipresence. They declare their separation from themselves, each other, and all life while passing this off as an act of humility. Humility is not denial. Separation is denial. And maintaining that separation is the ultimate act of pride. Your institutions operate in the same backward manner. Thus you have a national security system that is actively engaged in killing everybody, a federal drug administration that has all but recommended motor oil for dietary use because it is low in polyunsaturates and an economic system that has convinced everyone that life is bad for the economy. As you see, it may be difficult to use your language and still hope to express the truth. Certain terms need new definitions before you begin this reading. They follow. Note, some mission members have retained their extraterrestrial sense of meaning and may find this section a drag. Others have forgotten everything and require some reconstructive surgery. For that reason, we have highlighted the key definition, or as close as we can, approximate a key definition in this language with italics so that readers may either skim or read this section as they wish. Level one words. Look Jane, see Spotterin. Extraterrestrial. An extraterrestrial is not an alien. An alien is an alien. An extraterrestrial is a responsible citizen of the cosmos, not a foreigner drift among the stars. Extraterrestrials are representatives of light, protectors of life, and lovers of the planets. They are indigenous to any planet they happen to be on by virtue of their citizenship, regardless of their planet of origin. Many of you have come to believe that you couldn't possibly be an extraterrestrial because you feel so connected to the Earth and love her so much. May we suggest that if you love this planet at all, you are an extraterrestrial. May we also suggest that your concern for this planet was so great that you cared enough to send the very best, in this case, yourself. Alignment not lineage defines the meaning of the term extraterrestrial. Although all life emanates from the same source, not all life is aligned with that source. An extraterrestrial is a being who is in sympathetic harmony with the essence of its genesis. Alien. The people of this planet have expressed a certain neurotic fear about an alien invasion. That fear has been triggered by a nagging sense that in a limitless universe there just might be other intelligent life. In a typically xenophobic and self-serving response, governments are arming against what they already know to be true. This, of course, is not general knowledge, but in paternalistic systems of government, Important information is never general knowledge. In the name of national security, 
the acts of government are often hidden from the governed. This statement is not to make you paranoid or stir you to political revolt. It is simply to demonstrate to you the behavior of an alien and the meaning of the term. You need not scour the skies for evidence of an alien invasion. Look around you instead. Look at those who are peddling fear, vending death, and poisoning the planet. Look at those who hide the truth so that the power they have derived from lying will not be threatened. And look at those sadly separated beings that have the audacity to gaze out upon the created universe, wondering if there could possibly be anyone else out there, all the while arming, just in case there is. This is the alien invasion you worry about, the one you externalize and fear. It is also the one that surrounds you, and the one you have been living out for thousands of years. There is no point in fearing an invasion of alien, since the invasion has already happened, and the aliens are already here. You would be better advised to fear that no true intelligence will ever show up for this planet. And you would be even better advised not to fear anything at all, 